Hi, and welcome to the show. Um, I didn't get my episode out last week. I started to film this, but um, I just had a busy week. I was shooting all weekend long. Um, did get a lot of exp more experience using the 5D Mark IV, which I'm now for the first time using to record this. Also, I've got the app up, which I have said that that's one thing I wanted to talk about uh, this time and demonstrate a little bit of how it worked. It's so great for this, as I could tell now that I am, the camera is, is focusing on me. I could see the whole setup of the shot. So it's pretty cool. I really liked it. Um, so I set up here in the studio, and what I did is I set up all my lights and everything, got the app out, hooked it up to the camera, and then just did some test shots of myself to try and show how cool it works and how I could stand there and look at the phone, and then I'm able to adjust the settings on the fly. You know, I could change the aperture, the shutter speed, the ISO, everything I need to, adjust the lights and see all the images right here on the camera, I'm right here on the phone without having to go back to the camera. And I'm doing the same, like I said, right now, I was able to start recording this from here, so all I have to do is turn the camera on. Um, It'd be cool if all mine did that because I'm still shooting multiple angles, so I still have to go and make sure the other ones are in focus and all of that. But overall, it's it's just been really cool. Some of the experience I had with it is um, last week, um, after I shot, well, I guess two weeks ago, uh, Friday now, I did go out for a hike, and um, I did some landscape shots with the camera. I actually made a little video about that um, with uh, my GoPro, and I do some of that vlogging type stuff over on the Facebook page. If you want to check that out, I'll link it up in the description below. But so I did get out for a hike and try the camera out outside. Uh, nice sunny day, snow on the ground, blue sky. Uh, didn't notice just once doing something like that, like a huge jump in image quality um, to the 5D for that kind of photography yet. I mean, I, the, the more resolution is nicer, the bigger images are nicer. It seemed like the, dy the dynamic range is um, a little expanded, but you know, it was an easy day to expose kind of. So I don't know, that didn't give me a good judge, but I do have a blog about that. Um, up, I'll put the link to that too if you want to see the images. You know, I'll have some going right now, but you could also go in if you want to look at them a little closer. You could click through the blog over to Flickr and see them full size. And then that evening, I also went out to this, um, an art opening called Winterland. And there I shot you no know, flash, real high ISO. I think I did um, up to 6,400 that night. And I was really, really impressed with the images. Um, again, they're in that same blog if you want to check them out bigger. But that, there was just no color noise at all um, up through 6,400. I had um, a luminance noise, which is harder to deal with if you try and you know get rid of luminance noise. Uh, it, you will lose a little sharpness in the image I've found. I'm sure there's better ways to do it, and now maybe I'll try and get a little more into learning that instead of completely avoiding those ISOs. But it was really cool to see just absolutely no um, color noise in those in those images. I also messed around that night with the app and um, took, I set the camera on another table and took a couple pictures of me and Aaron and stuff like that. And then also set the camera sideways and I was able to, people wouldn't know I was taking pictures and I snapped a couple just for fun. And I didn't get anything great out of it, but you could see how that could be a cool feature for street photography. I mean, I, I kind of can picture myself like maybe sitting on a little ledge with the camera next to me and the phone out and being able to, you know, snap some pictures, you know. I, you know, just get that kind of street photography where people aren't paying attention to you as much so you can get a more natural scene. So that's something I might want to try as the weather gets a little nicer, you know, head downtown or something like that. Um, again, I mentioned last week how, even though I only had brief experience, the autofocus seemed pretty incredible. Shooting this Torchbearers, uh, it was their first event of the, the year, it was their retreat. Shooting that with uh, the 5D and the, um, the autofocus and being able to use the little joystick again, as I had mentioned, but just how it could pull from so many different more spots. You know, like I've like I mentioned, the 60, I was always just recomposing the images. This, I could actually use the joystick and adjust. And I also even threw it into live view a couple times um, and just, you know, did the touch screen that I showed last week just to focus. And it just works so well when it's tracking the faces the entire time. So when I'm ready to take the shot, when I get an expression, you know, it's, it's really cool for that and it helps with, you know, sometimes you have speakers and, you know, you shoot so many shots of a um, speaker just to get one where they look pleasant and, you know, you're only gonna actually turn in a couple, but so it just helps, I, I felt, and helped me get a better shot in that way. Again, I shot, at, at in the evening it was 
We were downtown in the, it's now the county building. It was originally part of Firestone, the tire company, their headquarters. It's called the Triangle Building. We were on the, an unfinished floor and they just had some string lights up and a couple other little lights and not much light. And I even pushed the ISO up to, I think, 12,800. And, you know, then the image was getting noisier and stuff and you could tell, but it was still pretty cool to be able to get, you know, a usable shot, you know, without the flash to get the whole, what the whole scene looked like because it was so dark in there. You know, for most of that, there was white ceilings and I bounced the flash as I usually would to get, you know, shots, reaction shots, you know, shots of the um, speakers again, stuff like that. Um, so, you know, I was still doing that at a more reasonable ISO setting, but it was still cool to be able to get something. The next day, um, it was more in like fluorescent lit rooms, um, more like conference room or classroom type situations. I didn't use my flash at all, even though I had it on me because the camera was so clean at, you know, the photos were so clean at 2500 that I didn't feel the need to. Um, working with the files has been a little bit of an experience. Uh, I could tell just the difference and so used to having the 60 files in, you know, camera raw or Lightroom and exactly what adjustments need to be made really quick. It did slow me down a little bit. I am noticing a little bit different in the, you know, a little bit different in the color rendition, a little bit in how the sliders affect the images. So it's just a little bit of a learning curve, not to say it's good or bad. It's just I could tell there is a change that I'm getting a little bit used to and stuff like that. I also shot portraits that night and uh, I noticed that I had to do, it felt like I had to do less to the files to make them um, pleasing. Like they're just, I think it might again be the expanded dynamic range, you know, that is just a benefit on this camera. The other thing with the app I've really been enjoying is the um, file transfer. So what I do is I set the camera if I think I'm gonna wanna use some of the uh, photos instantly. And you know, so I'll have the cam, it'll be shooting the raw files, the Canon CR2 files that I'm gonna edit later, whether it be for a blog post or for the event or whoever I'm shooting for. But then what I'll also do is I will set it so it shoots a smaller size JPEG to the one card. And then I could transfer it directly to the phone. So if I wanna Instagram something, um, instead of taking it with the cell phone, I could actually now just take it with the Canon, put it over. If it's going to be Instagram, I'll edit it in there. But I could also edit it with one of my apps, um, like the Adobe Lightroom Mobile or something, and post to Facebook and Twitter, and instantly be sharing um, photos where I could use the, you know, get the quality of the lenses or the, you know, if I want a little bit of out of focus, you know, stuff that you can't. It's just harder to do with a phone, so it's just fun to be able to bump up the quality and just get it over to the phone so quick, you know and deal with it in that way. I really, I've really been enjoying, you know, that feature of the camera too. One other thing I wanted to mention is I did get a new memory card like I was talking about for the GoPro. I did a whole episode on the GoPro and how he's having trouble with it shutting down on me. I got a 32 gig card instead of the 64. Even though the other card I had is supposed to work fine in this, I just, the camera kept shutting down. So now that I put the new card in it, I haven't had a problem, but I also haven't filmed anything over my little vlog, so I haven't filmed for more than about three minutes. So, so far I think it's fixed the problem, but I'll, I'll, you know, keep, I'll keep you posted on that. I should be able to get out for a bike ride Tuesday or Wednesday, and I was going to try it, do something a little longer, and see if I'm, it is, if I'm not having any troubles. So I'm find out if I have to do something to the camera or if I have to send it back. Unfortunately, we'll see. Anyways, just a. Uh, Quick little episode to talk about how I've been enjoying the camera so far. I still need a little more experience to, you know, get the full, the full vibe. But you know, so far I, I just love using it. As I've been saying, you know, it's just the fact that it's just the way it's built. It reminds me of my old 7D. You know, way better than I've liked using the 60. And that's all for now. Um, this week, later this week, by Friday, I'll have another one of my gear episodes out. That one's going to be about my um, about the studio. So, uh, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.